This week, our hero is Wilson Greatbatch, the American engineer who created the first implantable pacemaker. Wilson Greatbatch was born in 1919 in Buffalo, New York. From an early age, Greatbatch was interested in electronics. After finishing high school in 1936, Greatbatch joined the U.S. Navy, serving in both the Atlantic and Pacific during World War II. After he was honorably discharged in 1945, Great Batch enrolled at Cornell to study electrical engineering. Great Batch first learned about heart block, a condition that causes irregular heartbeats, in the early 1950s. Back then, treating heart block involved painful electric shocks delivered via bulky external equipment. Intrigued, Great Batch began pondering a way to create a smaller, implantable device to help the heartbeat regularly. In 1956, Great Batch made the most important discovery of his lifetime, all thanks to a fortuitous error. While creating an instrument to record heartbeats, Great Batch accidentally soldered the wrong resistor into the circuit. Rather than recording electrical pulses, the device generated them. Staring in disbelief, Great Batch realized he had found a way to both simulate and stimulate a heartbeat. Over the next two years, Great Batch shrunk the device to just two cubic inches. In 1958, the pacemaker successfully controlled a dog's heartbeat. By 1960, the pacemaker was implanted in a human. Great Batch patented his device in 1962, and in the late 1960s, Great Batch added a better battery, extending the pacemaker's lifespan from two years to more than 10. By 1972, Great Batch's pacemakers were implanted in patients across the world. Thanks to Wilson Great Batch, millions of people around the world have avoided an early death. For that reason, Great Batch is our 36th hero of progress. <laughs>